Hey, how are we doing guys? Gray here and today we're back for week 8 of the P4G, final week of the regular season. We're going up against Kyle A and his Miami Dom fan. Kyle is somebody we haven't played for a long time, not since the first season of BBR in which we ended up winning. He ended up going 9-0 and having to drop. Make sure to go check him out, he makes great content and is just a fantastic guy. He's never actually lost, um, fun fact. So uh, winning this game is almost impossible, we're playing for second. Uh, if you are enjoying the content, please do leave a like and subscribe, we recently hit 1k and we're only growing from now on, so uh, yeah, all sport, greatly appreciated. And the matchup will be on screen now, uh, team will be down in the description below. And uh, yeah, we are locked for playoffs now, um, but Kyle needs to win this game desperately and he needs to kind of win big, I think, uh, to have any chance of actually making it into playoffs, depending on other results. So uh, yeah, he'll be fine for his life, should make for a good game, I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here we are for the battle against Kyle, um, we are locked for playoffs now, but Kyle most definitely isn't, he does bring the Blossom, he does bring Bombardier, um, roughly what I was expecting, albeit um, I didn't look at the matchup particularly hard um, prior to this game, so uh, I, I do see two potential defoggers. Uh, regardless, I think just leading off with Duraladon getting my rocks up early is probably in my best interest. He does bring the Blossom, which is quite frankly terrifying. Um, I hope I've got enough for it. <laughs> but um, we do have like some countermeasures in an attempt to uh, prevent it from just being able to sweep us, but we'll see. Um, I'll go ahead and lock that in. Um, yeah, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this team. But at the same time, like, I knew I was locked for playoffs after some of the games that happened earlier. Or last week, I guess. I was about to say earlier this week, but that's just the one that was played a little bit late. I think that was like the decider on whether or not I made it into playoffs or not. So, um, yeah. At this point, I, th I'm, I was told I was locked. And from my maths, I was locked. So, I, I don't know if I'm not, and I throw, so be it. We don't make playoffs, but <laughs> I believe it in Joey and uh, his maths, I don't know how smart that is, but um, you know, I'm believing. Whilst Kyle desperately needs to win this game, his only potential way of making it to playoffs is to win this game, and he kind of does need a big win. So uh, yeah, we'll see what he wants to lead off with, and we just kind of go from there. If he does lead off with Blossom, I think I've got to go into my Sinistro and just curse immediately. Uh, that's going to be the Bombardier, that could knock me off, but that's fine. Um, I will just set up my own rocks, I think. Um, let me just check Calc quickly against the Bombardia. Um, what can this Terra into? I didn't even check that. Can show how prepared I am for this week. Um, let's have a quick look. He can be... Survey says. Uh, dark flying grass, nothing to resist a Draco. So I could just go for a Draco. But that doesn't do a whole lot if he is specially defensive. Um, I mean, I could Draco once into Stealth Rock, but I can also Stealth Rock into Draco. He is going to Terra. Uh, potentially Terra Dark. Uh, that is going to be Terra Dark, yeah. That makes sense. I could definitely have seen Terra Flying as well in this game, but we are faster, that's good to know. I don't know why I'm surprised. I guess because I got no speed. So he is bulky on this. Uh, he is just going to knock off. You can scout for damage here. Uh, down to 234. That looks like it's just adamant. I guess. Uh, that did. Yeah, it looks like adamant. Terra Dark. It did 32%. Which is a roll. Uh, yeah, it's a roll for adamant. So I guess I could just Draco here. I could just Draco, it's pretty free. Um, he couldn't roost. I guess I could Flash Cannon into Draco as well. That's a potential play I can make. Uh, he doesn't really have great switch-ins to that, so I will Flash Cannon into Draco. He can go into Bronzong if he wants to. Uh, that does some very respectable damage, just knocks off again, that's fine. Um, Duradon pretty much just doing its job here. And I'm just going to click Draco. Because if we connect, then we will be able to do enough. You can go into Bronzong, but Bronzong isn't the biggest deal. I will just go hard out into my... Um, out into my Armour Rouge. And uh, no, I'm just going to let this go down. 
Okay, so potential that he could try and set up now. Potentially we could set up with his Blossom, but like I say, I just go hard into Sinister and I curse it and go from there. Um, albeit he will be able to recover some of the health up and be able to continue setting up. The other option is just go hard into Ndidi and try and just activate my Unburden early. But we'll see what he wants to do. Because I could have Raw or Dragon Tail on this. And realistically, I should have had one of those two. Um, but I went for Body Press because it was better against Scrafty. Um, Scrafty kind of got, got to come in and just start clicking buttons, which it can do here, to be fair. Um, I do still have Fez alive. They should be able to take one Iron Head at plus one. Um, if he's SD, that's a little bit more problematic, but I will still take that damage, I think. Uh, Juice World. That sounds like a Blossom. Nope, never mind. Um, bringing my old Pokemon against me. You hate to see it. Um, I could just body press and let this go down. Do I need to keep this around? No, realistically I don't. I'll just body press. Get a big old chunk off. Are you DD? No, you are bulk up. Okay. So we don't have a whole lot of health. Unless you bulk up DD then this shouldn't be too problematic. Uh, just going to body press again. Get off another nice chunk of damage, and he's probably Drain Punch. But we can always go into our uh, Pheasant Dipity afterwards and finish this off. We could also actually go into our... Um, we could go into Holucha as well and just click Close Combat and U-turn if we need to on the Weezing coming in. But now I'm really glad that I brought Body Press. <laughs> I'm definitely glad I brought Body Press. Um, I don't think it will knock this out, especially at plus one. Um, no, it's not going to. But it should leave it in range of Pheasant Dipity. I think that is the better play because what does that realistically bring in? Probably a Bronzong. Um, I guess I, you know, I've, I've seen that he's not. Um, I've seen that he isn't Chopple. Um, to a Scrafty at plus one. Like CC should always kill, right? Yeah, CC will always kill. I could bulk up myself. I don't see the reason to. I think it's better for me in this position to just close combat and then U-turn on the Weezing coming in and go out into Armourouge because then Armourouge gets a pretty free hit off and he does kind of need to attack what's in front of him in that sense. He doesn't need to, I guess, but he could set up T-Spikes, he could try on Willow, and uh, Armourouge is good against both of those. But him go not going into Blossom on that turn actually put me in a pretty good spot. I'm happy to trade my Duraludon essentially for two Mons at this point. Like, Scrafty can set up again later, but it doesn't take a hit from anything. He's going to withdraw. Um, Weezing seems very, very likely here. <laughs> Vendipity. Yep. Um, these are the same Pokemon, I believe it. Um, are you your Misty Surge? Okay, so you're looking to overwrite my Surge. Are you Rocky Helmet? I assumed that you would be. No. Okay, so this U turn is actually quite free. No sure you're scarfed, right? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I shouldn't have U-turned, maybe I should have just gone harm. Okay, never mind. I'm 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 overthinking it. That is most definitely gonna be physically defensive. Um, and now I do just go arm rouge and I start clicking some buttons. Um, I could go in DD as well. I could go in DD as well. But I think arm rouge is kinda just gonna be better. And we'll see how he wants to go about things. Play rough, okay. Well, it's a shame that I'm not weak armor. It's a big shame I'm not weak armor, because that would put me in a really good spot. Um, I think armor cannon actually looks very free, I would say. I would say it looks very free, so I'm just going to go ahead and click it. <clears throat> I think he, Scrafty probably is the switch in, yeah. 
and I believe that this should just do enough. If it doesn't, then armor cannon into something else will do enough. I think it's probably Spadef. Okay, so now Barrascuda probably comes in. If Barrascuda comes in, I think I go either Sinister or I go Pheasant Dippity. He most likely flip turns. And I think in that case I'd rather have Sinister in. Both of his dark types are down, so Sinister actually looks really good. Um, the only thing that is obviously very detrimental to it is the Blossom, which we will curse and hopefully be able to prevent from just being able to sweep us. <clears throat> but we'll see. I, I'm like 99% sure that it's going to be a, uh, a Barrascuda coming in here. Um, Armor Rouge beats two, three of these last mons, it only doesn't beat the Blossom. So it's playing around not getting swept by Blossom, essentially. I could also, like, Pheasant Difty also kind of works against Blossom in that sense of, like, I can just, uh, Tyler. That's the Barrascuda. Make a lot of sense. It is going to take rocks. Yep. And I could force it to take Rocky Helmet here. Um, but I could also just go into you, and you're kind of you're safe against a lot of things on this team. Um, I think I'd rather go Fez though, because even if he does attack me, if he does flip turn, um, we get to scout whether or not he's banded. Firstly. Man, if I was just weak armor on this, I think it just won from here. Kind of crazy that he let his two dark type go down immediately against my team. But, you know, I should have planned for that, I guess. Uh, he crunches, okay. So that is like literally best case scenario. He's going to take that rocky helmet. And now I get to plot. Um, I could also just shadow ball. Is that banded damage? I don't think that's banded. Um, let me just check. Um, Barra, that's Rara Scooter. Close enough. Uh, to Pheasant Dipty, Crunch. Uh, it's coming down to 326. 14%, so it's definitely not banded. Um, so I will just plot once. If he liquidations, worst case scenario, but I think you go bronze on here, right? Okay, Psychic Fangs, that's, that's worst case. That crit, that did a lot of damage. That might be just the Expert Belt. Okay, so that was a misplay. That was a misplay, but I can bring this in later and just roost up on something else. Right, I can quite easily just roost up on something else. We know he's not Scarf, so my Indeedy should outspeed. Um, yeah, I I do want to keep this one around, so. Roosting would have been a better play. Is what it is. Chipping Barrascuda is also pretty nice, so uh, yeah, if he crunches here, that would be worst case scenario. He might well crunch, depending on that damage. Yeah, he just Psychic Fangs. Um, I think this is Expert Belt. If I had to guess. So I will just strength up once. Get myself back up to full. Um, I don't think the crunch will do enough. Um, okay, so he does just switch. And yeah, there's Blossom. Um, I'm clicking Curse on this turn. I'm clicking Curse, then I'm going into what? Fez? You 100% will quiver dance here. Um, I could also curse and go into Indeedy. We are faster. I guess we are pretty quick actually on this, so it makes sense. There's the quiver.
Um, so at plus one. Let me just check this. Uh, Armor Rouge against a Belossum. Even at plus one. Armor Cannon would do enough. So I think that is my best play. It's just to go out into Armor Rouge. And Armor Cannon. Uh, I guess actually indeed he was going to be better there, right? He Moonblasts. Okay, so we take that. We take that just fine. No special attack drop on top of that. Even better. And now I just go for an armor cannon. We are going to take a chunk here. But this was the biggest threat to my team. I guess like Trick Room Bronzong could be also be an issue. Something I didn't really think about was Trick Room Bronzong. That could actually be like a, a sweeper against my team. But I think Sinister should be able to deal with that. You may well just keep this around, but I just never let it get into a position where it can um, actually attack and or can set up again. Yeah, he's going to switch. Uh, and goes into Blon Bronzong. Okay. So Armor Cannon's going to do a lot. Assume this is probably heatproof against my team. Um, probably not. Uh, actually, yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> Considering that damage. Yes, most likely was. Um, we do have the uh, Shadow Ball here. So I can just click it and get rid of this mon. And if Barrascuda comes in, I think this time I sack. Um, we're actually in a position where, yeah, if this dies, indeed he wins. We're in a position where that just happens, right? Okay, well this lived. You hate to see that. Um, he EQs, we probably do die to this. Yeah, but that's fine. I think indeed he just wins now. I'm pretty sure indeed he can just win. Um, does expanding force actually do enough? That is a question to be answered. Um, Bronzong. He is like super spadef. Even if he is max spadef, do I do enough? I could also just go into you and click U-turn. Are you cussed up? I mean, if he's cussed up, I, I really, uh, I can only applaud him for bringing such a set. But U-turn should always knock this out. And if he goes into uh, Weezing, then we get our Psychic Terrain up, and I think indeed he just wins. Yeah, okay. So now I just go in DD, and I start clicking Expanding Force. I could be wrong. There's something that I, there may be something I'm forgetting. This could also very well um, be Pasho, not Pasho. What's the Pataya? Payapa? One of the two. Um, the Psychic Resist Berry, but I am just going to go in DD, and hopefully he isn't jolly on his uh, Barrascuda for some reason. That would be the worst case scenario for sure. Um, but we just do click Expanding Force now. His Bronzong's so low it dies to rocks. Um, Blossom doesn't take it, this doesn't take it, and as long as I haven't fucked up with my EVs on uh, or outspeeding the Barrascuda, then uh, yeah, we should be fine against that as well. I think this is checkmate. I think. He's going to switch so he can reset the terrain, I guess. Um, what's going to come in? Bronzong. Makes sense. Now, does he reset the terrain now? I think if Barrascuda comes in, I still just go Pheasant Dipity and play it safe. I have no reason to... 
to throw, I think. <laughs> I don't think I have a reason to throw. Um, he doesn't know I'm scarfed at the moment. What does Barrascuda hit? Barrascuda. If it's Jolly. 408. Okay, so I'm outspeeding Jolly. So yeah, this is... This should just be game. In comes Tyler, that was the Barrascuda, right? We know this isn't Scarfed, so Expanding Force will just take it out. And even if it doesn't, we just go into our full Lucha afterwards and we should be in a pretty good spot. Yeah, okay, we outspeed, this is dead. Um, I guess his play now is to reset the terrain. <clears throat> I think he needs to reset the terrain and then uh, try and live one. But even if he does, what's he going to do? What strengths at me? I still do a lot of damage. Um, does Expanding Force kill Blossom from there? Probably not, but we'll see. Um, I still just Expanding Force anyway. We are modest, so I would hope that we can take out a Blossom from like 20%, but we'll see. Um, we should always take out Blossom. <laughs> there is no Psychic Terrain up. Uh, 35 to 41. I mean, I'm gonna believe in Samir here. Expanding Force, is it gonna take it out? It is. 4 for Indeed in this game and a 4 0 win. Um, I'm sorry, Kyle, for knocking you out of playoffs with this one. Um, <clears throat> but we uh, we wanted to cement our place for sure. And uh, our matchup was pretty good, I will say. He let his two dark types go down super, super early, which definitely opened up the game for my two psychic types. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with how the game plan worked out on that one. And if you enjoyed battle, please leave a like, subscribe so you don't miss out on the playoffs for P4G. Make sure you go check out Kyle's side of the battle as well, show him some love. And until the next one, have a great day, guys. Peace.